Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to Yao Chapters 101. I will be getting started here in about 30 seconds, so hang tight. All right, guys, so once again, welcome in. Uh, glad to have everybody. Glad that you guys could tune in for our uh, YAL Chapters 101. We do this every Tuesday at 4 o'clock uh, to welcome new prospects, folks that are thinking about starting a YAL Chapter, uh, and those of you that are already chapter leaders uh, who still have a group or just recently started a group, so you're, uh, so you're considered newly forming status uh, with the YAL Network. So I want to dive right in uh, and get started. Uh, one thing to think about, uh, as we're adjusting our camera here, uh, is if you guys have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to email us at rd at yaliberty.org. That's rd at yaliberty.org. All right. So what are we going to go over today? First, what is YAL? So we'll talk about Young Americans for Liberty, the things we have to offer, uh, and how we're able to work uh, in the liberty movement and in the political process. We'll talk about achieving active status. So looking at the three things we ask you to do, your chapter mailing address, your chapter plans, and then finally, recruiting two new members. All right, so these are the things we're going to look at today. First step, what is YAL? So let's talk about it, an overview of YAL. In six years, YAL has become the most active uh, and fastest growing conservative and libertarian youth organization here in the United States. We pride ourselves on our mission statement, which is to identify, educate, train, and mobilize Youth activists committed to winning on principle. So there are four main components to our mission statement. The first one's being identify and educate. We do that at the local campus level. So we try to identify those who are interested in liberty or might be uh, curious or at least open-minded to talk about the issues. And we try to educate. So taking those that are already liberty-minded to the next level, diving more into philosophy and in-depth discussions, and taking those that are interested or curious and just exposing them to those ideas, getting them educated on liberty. The third component is to train, uh, and the fourth component is to mobilize. So we train through campus uh, boot camps, where we go over campaign work. We have state conventions where we offer different trainings, whether it's for campaigns, campus activism training, recruitment training, and we all, ultimately our goal is to mobilize, to get folks out, whether it's in the community, in a political campaign, a political process, whether it's just culturally how we're doing it, but we want to actually affect change. So finding ways to train all of our members so we can come together and mobilize for real change out in the actual real world. Our goal is to cast the leaders of tomorrow and reclaim the policies and candidates in the direction of our government. Pretty self-explanatory goal, uh, but it ties right into our mission statement. We're trying to identify and educate train and mobilize so we can eventually win on principle. So that's a little bit about YAL and our mission statement and what we do. Take a look at our national growth. We started back in 2009 following Ron Paul's presidential campaign, morphed into Young Americans for Liberty. We had less than 100 chapters. Today we are at 580 chapters, actually 582 as of this morning. Um, so we're at 582. And we're projecting to get to 650 chapters by the end of this year, uh, come uh, the fall semester, come 
uh, New Year's uh, 2016. We want to hit 650 chapters. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome goal to have, but we think we'll get there. Liberty is a popular thing, and that's what we're finding out on these college campuses. So that's Young Americans for Liberty. Let's talk about forming a chapter. Or for those of you that have already formed your chapter, let's dive into the process uh, to getting that chapter to active status. So the first part is to create a profile. So you yourself as a chapter leader want to be the founding member. Create a pro profile on our website. It's yaliberty.org slash join. Create a profile. You're going to pay your $10 dues, and we'll go over the benefits of paying dues. Uh, but once you do that, that's going to be your, your first step to at least getting it started. You're going to go to yliberty.org slash chapters and click to start a chapter here. Then you're going to select your campus uh, from our drop-down menu with all the schools located, located in the United States. Select your campus. Then you're going to officially start the chapter application by clicking here. Once you do that, it's going to give you a, a drop down with all of the different uh, things you're going to need to look at as you go through the application. And the first step, uh, or the first thing I want you to even look at, is we kind of have a cheat bar here. And it kind of breaks down what we're going to go over today. So the first thing being your chapter mailing address, and the second thing being your chapter plan, and then the third thing being getting those two additional members, like I mentioned in one of the opening slides. So we are going to give you a cheat sheet as you go through it to know where you have to go. Don't get too uh, stuck up on the upload school recognition and even getting the members. Uh, we'll talk about that. But get through the chapter mailing address and the chapter plans because you can do that as an individual. You don't need anybody else's help with that. You can only rely on yourself for that. So we ask you to get those done right away. So first step is that chapter mailing address. Take you a few minutes. Fill that out. Next step is the chapter, uh, excuse me, the chapter plans. So there's five different sections to the chapter plans. Some of the questions will ask you, you know, why do you like Liberty on campus? Where do you want to see your group in a few years? Um, do you have a meeting scheduled, your first meeting? Do you have a leadership team? Some of these questions are open-ended. Some are yes, no. What we want is just an honest answer. We want you to think about some of these questions. It's not always about getting a yes answer, but rather getting you to think, okay, I don't have officers set up. Maybe that's something I should be looking into. I haven't scheduled my first meeting. Let's think of a date that would work. So get through the application. We want you to read the questions, get an answer down, and then you'll discuss those answers with your regional director moving forward. So you've completed the mailing address. You've completed the chapter plans. Uh, so now what we want you to do is recruit two additional members. You can recruit them at yaliberty.org slash join once again. But Cliff, I've tried recruiting people, and it's just, you know, not my cup of tea. People tell me they'll sign up, but they won't. Uh, they don't have the $10. Why do they have to pay dues? Well, I'm going to walk you guys through this, and we're going to talk about some recruitment pro tips as well as the benefits of being a dues-paying member. So the first thing to look at is a free out T-shirt. Okay, they're paying $10. We're sending them a T-shirt that with shipping, it's going to cost us closer to $15. So right off the bat, it explains to them it's not about the money as much as it is just getting that buy-in and showing some commitment on their end. Another benefit, they're eligible to attend all state conventions completely free. Completely free to, all, to go to all state conventions just by paying the $10 dues. National convention, they'll be eligible to apply to attend. Have to be a dues payer to attend there as well, and they're able to apply. Job and internship opportunities, okay? We have a jobs page. We give special privilege to our YAL members. So sign up as an official member. You'll be able to access that, upload your resume, and we can try to pair you in for internships and jobs within the Liberty Movement. YAL leadership team eligible to apply to be a state chair, to work as a regional director. Highly encouraged that you're an official dues-paying member. And lastly, we have a national network here at YAL. Okay, the Liberty Network is vast and large, and it's only growing. Okay, not only are there jobs and internships, uh, not only are you eligible to join our leadership team, but you're going to have yourself plugged into a national network of activists, think tanks, campaigns, Capitol Hill jobs, anything you can think of in the political uh, realm of public policy, you're now going to be able to plug yourself into. So signing up as an official member ties you back into that national network with plenty of opportunities. Let's talk about some recruitment pro tips. Okay. We have done this for over a thousand chapters uh, over the past that we've started. Some we've had to restart at different campuses. 
but we are going to talk to you guys about what will actually work when it comes to recruiting new members. First one, if you don't ask, they won't sign up, period. So many times people tell me, oh, you know, somebody said they were interested. Well, did you actually ask them to sign up? Okay, I don't mean it has to be a sales pitch, but you do have to actually say to them, will you sign up and get a yes or no answer? Okay, so make sure you ask. Show them your passion to spread liberty. Okay, people aren't going to care if they're not interested in liberty. You need to show them why liberty is important. Sit down with them, talk to them. You know, look, this is why liberty means so much. This is why we need these principles. This is why we need these policies of less government, lower taxes, right? Civil liberties. Get, I mean, if you show them how excited you are, it'll really get them interested, and that'll help with signing somebody up. Explain the benefits of being a dues paying member. So I showed you this slide. Be able to go over these. Explain it with them. Talk to them about the perks of signing up as a dues paying member. Sit down with them one on one. Okay, this is extremely important. All right, set up a meeting time. All right, get them to sit down with you so you can go through these steps. You can show them how much you care. You can explain the benefits. All right, and if you actually sit down with them to sign them up, they are 99.9% .9 more likely to do it than if you're talking to them over the computer, you know, or you set up some other time for them to do it on their own. With you there, you know what you're there to do. You're there to sign up. They get there, you walk them through it, so there's no technical issues, you know what to do, you have another dues paying member. It's a great way to leapfrog. Last one, make sure they click to join your chapter. So we don't want them to sign up and then kind of just be out in limbo. Make sure they actually go to your chapter page, sign up, and join your chapter so they're listed as an official member with your group. All right, so let's review the active requirements just very quickly here. First step, complete the chapter mailing address. Second step, chapter plans. Third step, recruit two additional members. Okay, we keep it very simple here at Yao. All right, once you're able to do that, you've demonstrated some leadership on your end, you're going to have access to all of our activism stipends, activism materials, any resources that you need at this point, you are eligible to apply for. Okay, so we keep it very, very simple on your end. Uh, not always easy, but very simple. So just show us a little bit of leadership and you'll have access to all of our materials. All right, so I also like to give a little bit of a timeline. So let's talk about tasks and the actual time it will take uh, to complete this. This is the average, what most groups do, um, so that you have an idea of where you fall on that spectrum. So to become an official member, only about a few minutes online, three minutes. Enter your mailing address, another three minutes. Chapter plans, this could take a little longer. Uh, so we average about 20 minutes to get through the five steps within the chapter plans. Recruit two dues paying members, okay? We usually say, all right, you start the chapter. Let's say it's noon on a Monday. You're through the chapter plans and the chapter mailing address by 1230. By noon the next day, you should be an active chapter. Take the rest of the afternoon, reach out to people, set up some meetings for that night or the next morning, all right? Meet up with some people, maybe get five or six people together, talk to them about Yao, show them that passion for liberty, get them excited, and then get them all to sign up. Okay, distribute titles to them, get them involved with the executive board. Those types of things will lock them in as members, and you'll be active by lunchtime on Tuesday. Okay, it's really that simple, and we ask you guys, you know, just work a little hard at it, focus, and you'll be able to get those additional two members. So I'll end with this. Uh, you can do it, all right? Make sure uh, you, know, you realize that we currently have 580 chapters. To 580 people on college campuses with hectic schedules, busy lives, right, are still trying to promote liberty, which is awesome, okay? Make sure you have fun doing it, all right? So many times we have different chapter leaders who get stressed or, you know, they're, they're involved with recruitment and activism and they think, is this really worth it? Our top priority is liberty, all right? You can never forget that, but at the same time, you got to have fun while doing it. So if you're not having fun, reach out to your RD, figure out ways you can do things differently, um, but this is a cool thing. Liberty is a brand new idea. Uh, it's a young idea, and it's something that is great that we all get to be involved with, uh, with spreading the message on campus. So I urge you guys all to become active. All right, work hard. Get your chapters moving on campus. Reach as many people with those ideas of liberty. I'll hang out for a few minutes here. Feel free to email me. It's rd at yliberty.org. You can text me, 215-989-3451. Um, so we'll hang out, but once again, thanks for stopping in. Glad to have you here for Yale Chapters 101.
or registered for the state convention. So if you don't mind reiterating this again, uh, it would be great if we could get all Thank you.